Eid al Adha, the Feast of Sacrifice. Eid al Adha occurs approximately 70 days after the end of Ramadan. It is the second celebration of two major Muslim holidays. This year, based on the lunar based Islamic calendar, the festival begins on the evening of 23rd September, which is celebrated on the 10th day of Zulhijjah. Thousands of Muslims around the world are set to celebrate this festival, which commemorates Abraham's willingness to sacrifice his son, Ismail, as an act of submission to God. It is also signifies the end of the Hajj pilgrimage, which attracts over 2 million pilgrims annually. The History of Eid al-Adha Allah has mentioned of this historical event in Surah As-Saffat. To understand better, let us look into the commentaries given by our great scholars of Tafsir. So we give him the glad tidings of a forbearing boy. Al Hafiz ibn Kathir commented, meaning, this child was Ismail, peace be upon him, for he was the first child of whom glad tidings were given to Abraham, peace be upon him, and he was older than Ishaq. And when he was old enough to walk with him, said, O oh my son, I have seen in a dream that I am slaughtering you. So look what you think. The dreams of the prophets are revelations. He told his son that in order to make it easier for him and also to test his patience and resolve at a younger age in obeying Allah and obeying his father. He said, O oh my father, do that which you are commanded, meaning, obey the command of Allah and sacrifice me. If Allah wills, you shall find me of the patient, meaning, I will be patient and will seek the reward for that with Allah. Then, when they had both submitted themselves and he had laid him prostrate on his forehead, meaning they submitted and followed the command of Allah. Abraham obeyed the command of Allah and Ismail obeyed Allah and his father. O Abraham, you have fulfilled the dream, meaning the dream has been fulfilled by laying down your son and sacrifice him. Abraham turned and saw a fine horn white ram. Verily, Thus we reward the doers of good, meaning this is how we deal with those who obey us in things that are difficult for them. We make for them a way out. 
verily that indeed was a manifest trial, meaning it was clearly a test, so he hastened to do it, in submission to the command of Allah and in obedience to him. And we ransomed him with a great sacrifice. It was reported that Ibn Abbas said, a ram which has grazed in paradise for 40 years. Islamic way of slaughtering animals. The Islamic method of slaughtering animals known as Zabiha. One may consider the following points which prove that the Islamic method of Zabiha is not only humane but also scientifically the best. The animal has to be slaughtered with sharp objects such as knife and in a fast way so that the pain of slaughter is minimized. The animal must be alive and within the best health condition. Slaughtering is to be done by invoke Allah's name, cutting the throat, windpipe and blood vessels in the neck causing the animal's death. The blood has to be drained completely before the head is removed. The purpose is to drain out most of the blood which would otherwise serve as good culture medium for microorganisms. The meat will be dispersed among the people and one third or more will be donated to the poor and needy. Eid al-Adha is not merely an occasion of ritual celebrations but an annual tune-up of one's lifestyle so that it becomes a lifestyle that is totally submerged in submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a celebration of stimulating a Muslim's readiness to sacrifice everything for the sake of Allah. May Allah grant us the strength of spirit and will to perfectly emulate the example of Abraham and Ismail in every facet of our daily struggle to become better Muslim. Insha'Allah.